Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Biology. And of course, we're going to another kingdom and we're looking uh, into the kingdom plantae, the kingdom of plants. Okay, so please, uh, we're going to talk about the kingdom of plants in the next few episodes. And of course, before we move into the next world kingdom, which is kingdom animalia, so the kingdom of of animals. Okay, so uh, what we have here today is the kingdom plant here. And we say that plants can be what classified into vascular and non-vascular plants. Okay, so plants are everywhere we go, everywhere we move to, we definitely see what plants. Okay, so they are classified into what vascular and what non-vascular plants plants okay i'll say vascular plants are plants that possess vascular tissues they have specialized tissues they have what specialized tissues for the transport of what minerals and water okay now we say these tissues okay are usually referred to as xylem and phloem xylem and phloem okay we say oh, that what oh, these vascular what plants that have or, or possess vascular tissues or that possess specialized what tissues for the transport of mineral and water are what uh are referred to as what xylem and what and phloem we say the xylem is used for conducting water please take note the xylem is used for conducting water while the phloem is used in conducting manufactured food via a process called translocation okay so we said well that the xylem must know the usefulness of the two that the xylem because we are going to see the past question from the old school jam right now you see that these questions are asked in your exam so you must know what the uses of what these tissues these specialized tissues the xylem and the phloem okay so we, as we are going to look from the past questions today you are going to see questions set under this so that's why you need to get your old three school jam app activated on your phone do not forget this video tutorial of course is brought to you by the old to the school jump app and it is all you need to succeed in your exam it has all the past questions for all subjects okay apart from the past question it has some wonderful features that are designed to make you perform excellently well in your examination right for example we have the classroom feature where you can study lecture notes according to the jam syllabus and you can take tests to test yourself on the topic you just what uh you just was studied before you go to the next topic okay also we have what to call the question search feature where you can search for questions using topics okay and the question that jam has sent other that topic will come up for you to answer you, you answer them and you build your confidence towards the main exam also we have the utme challenge it's a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for a particular year. Okay, you compete with your mates, you win prizes every week. Over a hundred thousand naira worth of prizes and recharge cards are what are given out every week. You win prizes, you what you you get to see your score every week. Okay, and you get to see, uh, you get to see jam questions every time, so you get used to how jam said that question. You build your confidence towards the main exam. Okay, what is much? What is what more than that? So download the Old Schools app today as we are speaking. Download the app and of course start practicing. But for you to start practicing, you must activate the app. Activation is one time. Okay, for a particular version, activation is one time. All right, and you can use that app for as long as you want to. Okay, so please activate or your app activation is just three thousand naira okay as i time of shooting the video is three thousand naira it may definitely increase later okay so please download the app to activate click on activate after downloading the app and then go to at the top you'll see where the road buy activation key so if you click on buy activation key you'll see what the three what method for activating the app you can pay with your atm card online that one will, act will activate your app automatically instantly okay or we could what transfer to the o3 schools app account okay if you're transferring to the o3 schools app account you need further support so you need to what send the receipt of that payment to what to our customer care number on whatsapp 091215152 Four six. Okay, so once you what uh, uh, make the payment, send the receipt to this number on WhatsApp. Anybody can pay for you, just send the receipt. You can go to a POS and make the payment, just snap the receipt and send. Okay, once you send your receipt, a customer care agent will be there waiting for you to what attend to you quickly. All right, so please, this it is not scam, it cannot be scammed. Nobody wants to use this to scam you. All right, so please get your app and start practicing immediately. So we say 
plants can be classified into vascular and non-vascular what plants okay we say what vascular plants are plants that possess vascular tissues okay which i say they are specialized tissues for the transport of mineral and water okay and we say that, that these tissues are usually referred to as xylem and phloem i say the xylem is used for conducting what water while what the phloem is used for, for conducting manufacture of food via a process we call translocation okay you know that plants do not eat food right plants do not eat food so if translocation is a method that plants use for transportation of what of water and minerals from the leaves to the world to the other parts of what of the body plants do not eat what food they gain energy from the sun all right they gain energy for the sun and they gain nutrients from the soil all right so you know what photosynthesis photosynthesis here whereby plant manufacture their what their own food that is starch or what or what uh, um or glucose they manufacture what glucose using what the energy from what from the sun okay so that is what vascular what plants now the non-vascular plants are plants that do not have vascular what systems okay uh we didn't put them put it here on the board so for those of both of you that are writing your notes i'm so sorry so uh you can just listen and what and form your notes about it so say non-vascular plants are plants that do not have what vascular what systems they do not have a uh, specialized tissues like uh, like uh, the xylem and the phloem for the transport of mineral and water but def they definitely do have small tiny tissues also that can be used for, for the transport of what of water around the world around their what around their parts okay so those are non-vascular what plants and of course Examples of non-vascular plants are, of course, like the algae. We have what algae, like a special form of algae, we call the green algae. Green algae. Okay, it's a non-vascular plant. Okay, we also have uh, uh, some bryophytes. Okay, like of course, if you have, we have the liver, uh, liver wort. Okay, the horn wort. Okay, and mosses. Okay, these ones are all what they are all non-vascular or plant. They do not have what specialized tissues like the xylem and the phloem for the transport of minerals and water. Okay, but they do of course they have some 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 special cells for some special tissues rather for transportation of what of water around with their body parts. Okay, so now the evolutionary trend in the plant kingdom using the new system of classification is we have what from the least advanced to the most advanced. Okay, so we have talophytes. The talophytes, or we have the algae. So example is what's an algae. Okay, we have the talophytes first. Then we now have what the bryophytes. Okay, uh, the bryophytes. Okay, which are also what non-vascular. They will now have what uh, pteridophytes. They will now have what the spermatophytes. Okay, so these spermatophytes are divided into what two. We have the angiosperm and the gymnosperm. So we won't get to spermatophytes. Okay, we're going to talk about what spermatophytes very, very well. Okay, so please just know this and what and no peace. Okay, please stay in this class. We're going to what answer questions to what to want to, to build your what to understanding towards what we just would learn. Okay, so now vascular plants are commonly referred to as what to as tracheophytes. Okay, they are commonly referred to as tracheophytes. They are commonly referred to as tracheophytes. Okay, so non-vascular plants include the talophytes, which are called what, the algae, and then what the bryophytes. All right, so like like the uh, hornwort, liverwort, and mosses, those are what those are bryophytes, and they are what they are non-vascular what plants. Now I'm going to go to the O3 schools app, and then we we'll answer question from this from this section on the board. All right, so let me get my app now. So I'm getting my app. So I'm launching my app on my phone, the O3 School Jam app. For just 3,000 euros, you get to see these wonderful features. You get to answer a lot of questions. All the past questions you need for all subjects are in one app. So do not forget to like this video. Liking this video will make other students easily find this, find this video. Uh, do not forget to uh, subscribe to this channel. Subscribing to this channel is free. Just click on that red subscribe button so that one will never release a new video. You will get a notification on your phone that we have published a new video and you can join us to, uh, to learn. Okay? Do not forget to share. Don't be stingy. Don't be wicked. Don't be stingy. Okay? Be a wicked person if you do not share this video. Please share this video to your friends and family and loved ones. Anyone that is writing jump exam or work exam, you can what, send it to them and they can learn also. So let's see. Uh, it's a question. It's a question. Uh, on, this is a 2018 question. It's being displayed on the screen right now. A 2018 question number 34. So which are the following Divisions or subdivisions are the most advanced. 
Okay, so A, you're given pteridophytes, B, bryophytes, C, talophytes, D, gymnosperms. Okay, so as you can see very well, you already know that words that talk about plants. Okay, from uh, the classification that from the options we have given. Okay, you should know that word. These are what these are plants. This is the this is what the plant what kingdom. Okay, and we we'll say that word that this evolutionary trend, right, is what from the least advanced to the most advanced. Okay, that means the spermatophytes are the what are the most advanced, while the talophytes, okay, are the what are the least advanced. And I did tell you that what that the spermatophytes are what divided into what the uh, gymnosperms, gymnosperms, and the what angiosperms. Okay, that means that what uh, if you see gymnosperms on the what on the options, of course, we should go to with gymnosperms. All right, that's why the right. Answer there in this question was, of course, would be what the gene no spams. Okay, so that is that for that. Now, let's go to another question. It's a 2016 question number 15, and it says, In plants, the structure which translocates manufactured food, okay, the structure which translocates manufactured food from the site of production to where it is used up. Is called what? Now, 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 go, now, we now go back to our xylem and our frame for our, for our vascular our plants. We say the xylem is used for transport, co transporting water or for conducting water, while the phloem is the one that is for, for conducting manufactured food through a process we call what? Translocation. That means our correct answer here, of course, will be what now? Will be phloem. All right? So phloem will be our answer. Then let's see the options, sorry. So option A, they say lenticels. Option B, phloem. Option C, xylem. Option D, food vacuum. And the answer there will be what? Will be flame. All right? So please, I told you you must know what this word, the uses of what this word are, uh, 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 specialized tissues. Okay, now let's see another question. In 1994, number 17, they say the flame parenchyma is sometimes used for, okay, or they know that was for what? For conducting manufactured food. Okay, so A, they said, Food storage, B, they say supporting the stem, C, production of sieve tube, D, they say transporting water. We know xylem is used for what? For transporting water. Flame is used for what? For food storage, for the word manufactured food, for the word for the conductor, conduction of manufactured food. That means our answer there also will be what? Will be option A, food storage. So there are thousands and thousands of questions on this OTD School Jam app. Download the app, activate it for just 3,000 euros. As I time was shooting this video, so that um, in years to come, when you're watching the video, you now say, ah, the person says 3,000. Okay, please focus on passing your exam at once. That is what you need to do. Focus on passing your exam at once. Okay, all the, the sacrifice you need to pay, the, 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 the candles you need to burn, all right, the midnight year you need to burn, whatever you are doing, the time you need to invest. Okay, please invest it. Pass your exam at once. You do not want to write jam twice. My name is Master T. I will see you in the next class.